Um, we've decided to set up an academy um, to train .NET programmers um, for the sheer shortage that there is currently in the UK but especially in London. Training is very important because technology changes daily, no, no even, you know, it changes every day. So working at IPS is you'll get trained for in that stage so it'll be a real environment. Initially because we have to have a starting point the the, the, the first um, is 26 weeks will be the beginning of the course during those 26 weeks a lot of it's going to be classroom based we're going to do a lot of tutorials because there are various elements to .NET programming um, predominantly very technical terms but we'll teach coding in a number of different languages HTML, 5, C Sharp we will teach the use of certain frameworks, .NET Core predominantly, Entity Framework, and we will teach the use of programming tools such as Bootstrap, which enable web applications to be able to work on any um, internet-enabled device. Now these are very theoretical things, and we have to kind of go through the theory before we can go to the practice. From that point onwards, and even during those 26 weeks, the work that will be done will be done on live projects. You have one-to-one. -one. Uh, relationship with the IPS um, Academy um, teacher so you'll have that one-to-one -one relationship with him and you'll have real projects real projects that you'll be working on that will go live so you can put your name stamp on that project saying yeah I built that for that college that's my project that I built for that person I think it's I think it's an excellent way to um, to actually learn I mean uh, that's what I'm doing at the moment because I've got some currently the training that I'm doing at the moment is I work with a senior programmer um, once a week for around half a day um, and he will and we've basically started a project and I'm basically learning um, what I need to know to do each section as we build it up so I go away and get on with it and then we work closely together and he advises me on the next steps helps me with any problems I've encountered and it's a combination of being taught and also doing some self-learning at the same time and it, it seems to work quite well. There are currently 7,000 positions for .NET programmers um, and it's one of the few um, lines of work where we've come across people with only two or three years experience being paid up to £40,000 which is a staggering salary um, for someone with such little experience. Our programmer Shaquille, um, he started as an um, apprentice now he's one of our senior developers. You know, he's still progressing, he's still learning. So at the IPS Academy, he's um, learning new technologies in IT and in programming. I, for me personally, I, I prefer um, to, be, to be basically have the context of what I'm learning. So I'm learning this because I need it for this given job. You know, I have an actual problem to solve, I find it that it motivates me and it, and it gives clarity to what I'm actually doing. Um, we believe that with um, a year's pure college learning and then a year um, to two years learning actually out in the field um, working, so it's a combination really of a sort of a bit of academic but a lot of experience actually working in the real world with employers um, would leave somebody in a very strong position really no matter what their background, age or education if you if you have a passion for if, for problem solving, um, and you have that have that drive, then I think yeah, anyone can do it as long as you've got that drive to do it, and then that yeah, and it will it will pay off. Young people coming from pretty much straight from school who are very sort of fresh and like the idea of being quite creative, but I also think it would suit people who are interested in reskilling. Um, I have a number of people who work for me currently um, <clears throat> and, I, and I'd like to think that this sort of role would suit somebody who perhaps wants to work fairly flexible hours, much to sort themselves, so it, it could work quite well for a single parent or a single mum or something like that. It really doesn't have to be um, you know, somebody particularly um, good at computers or particularly sort of geeky if you like. So it's not always sitting at your desk or come from a 9 to a 5 job, it's not that, it's more of your run it, you know, you'll do your experience. It's an exciting, exciting way to actually learn stuff on the job and you're always on the, uh, encountering new things all the time.
going via this route, I think, and it's and we've I've met a lot of um, new people as they come in, you know, senior and and peers that I've got here as well. So it is, and I I feel like it is pushing me towards a good sort of career path. So it's yeah, it's great. There are very few courses in the UK that train this type of computer programming. Most people who are good at it have taught themselves and learned at home. And these people, after five years or so, are on £60,000 plus salaries.